don't know about it. <laughs> I'm not sure. What do you think about the beer? I think I need all the help I can get. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I'm just nervous that someone will like uh, hijack that beer and like be talking to me and there's like another face that appears in it, like one of those old fairy tales. I mean, that's just me. All right, so we're talking about sweets with Miss Kathleen. I know way more about that. sweets than I do about <laughs> that beer technology. technology. Right? I know. And so we're in the process of making these chocolate biscuit strawberry shortcake. That's right. So now Desserts. we have measured all of our ingredients. We've prepared them. So we're actually going to make the biscuits in the food processor. Okay. So we have already measured our flour, one and three fourths cup this is self-rising flour. Again, it's a shortcut. It already has the uh, leavening in it. Okay, good. We're adding a little bit of sugar, fourth of a cup of sugar. You don't normally add that to biscuits, but again, this is a little bit sweeter. Right. And this is one third cup of our cocoa, and this is our, again, our Hershey Special Dark, which has a combination of them. So just real quickly, we're going to mix this up. Just pulse it in the food processor. Okay. All right, so all mixed up. Now we've already Cut our butter and shortening up into little pieces that helps it distribute again. Right. So instead of using the old fashioned pastry blender, uh -huh. you're going to pulse the food processor right here and you are cutting up the fat to about the sizes of erasers, okay, pencil cool. erasers. All right. So that's e really easy. Easy peasy. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave that on. Okay. Take, take this off. Uh huh. <laughs> You're standing uh, back. I'm just, I know, I flying am. Flying flyer. But I'm just getting flour. such sweet flashbacks to cooking in New Orleans. When you put flour on your face. Off. Yes, <laughs> all that. It's a part of the experience, right? So, through the food sheet, you are going to pulse okay. and add. And of course, this is our homemade buttermilk. Right. That is what's in there. And you're going to, now, on the recipe on gritsandgoody.com, it says it, one to two, ta one half cup, or one to two tablespoons more. Now look, okay. that is what it should look like. Oh wow. For biscuit dough, you want it to be a little, little sticky. Okay. okay. It's not a brownie batter. Right. But you do not want it to be too dry. Okay. All now right. we have to take a commercial break, but when we see you again, we're going to have some TV magic, fast forwarding to eating those biscuits. And then also we're going to hear a special story about how you swap out your aprons every uh, time you make an appearance, right? Yes, that's right. Apron stories, can't wait to hear more about that. Okay, we have to take this commercial break, but when we see you again, details about a car show 